as, uh, as I said, we're going to talk to Doug Hart about uh, convertibles, but not about uh, uh, just like a lineup, but how to make a convertible. How are you, Doug? Good. Glad to uh, be on the show. Thank you very much. Uh, so tell me about your company, because you guys make these uh, new uh, tops uh, for convertibles that really make them uh, seem that they're like regular cars. I mean, anymore, it's not like the noisy thing that it's uh, flapping around the wind. It's like new convertibles are something else, huh? No, you're absolutely right. Um, the Hearts Corporation has a, has a long history in producing materials that are used for convertibles. Uh, we don't produce the tops themselves, but we supply the materials that are used by another, uh, by the tier ones who would cut and sew and make the patterns for the tops. So you 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 manufacture the the fabric or the structure? We manufacture the textiles that are used for it. We don't manufacture the metal frames or or cut and sew or actually do any of the patterns, but we supply the the materials that are used for those applications. I see. And uh, this uh, this has evolved uh, tremendously. I don't know. I mean, you obviously can tell us much much better than I can. Um, when does this, this had uh, advanced so much? Because, I mean, again, like convertibles uh, a few years ago weren't that... I mean, I remember I tried to give out give out a convertible, and a friend of mine didn't want it because she didn't feel safe in a convertible. She thought, like, somebody would come in and, like, just pop the thing up and uh, open and take the car. Yeah. Well, there's always been a kind of a misconception that, that convertibles are not as safe as fixed-roof cars. Um, that either they're prone to, um, you know, in accidents for rollovers that there's no protection or there's vandalism and somebody can just, you know, rip the top and, and open your door. But that's really not the case. I mean, um, it, it, nowadays the technology is there that there are pop-up roll bars that are built right into the, into the seat backs. There are structural improvements. Uh, you're you're as safe in a in a convertible as you are uh, in a regular fixed top vehicle. Yeah. And uh, what is this uh, new material that uh, that you your corporation is using to to create this this uh, especially very quiet environment when you put that top on? Right. There is uh, through technological advancements in in different types of compounds and components. We're able to to reduce the noise that is inside the cabin. It's mass is a primary contributing factor to this, and what it does is with the top up, the cars are as quiet in most cases as a regular fixed top car. Uh, we found that with many of the ride and drives that we've done, we've pulled people and and asked them their opinions on these things, and they come back saying that you know they never knew that cars could be so quiet because, like you said, they're remembering the cars from. 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago that everybody thought the tops would leak and that they, were, they weren't as safe and, and any of the other misconceptions that are currently out there still. Yeah, and uh, so I guess it's like multi-layer material that goes in those tops today because, I mean, there's probably insulation and there's like other things that make the car isolate noises and all those kind of things? That's, that's absolutely right. Um, we've, we've improved the technology itself. Most tops are three layers, um, two textiles, and then, and then a combining layer in the middle, which is normally a, a rubber of some variety. It uh, doesn't have to be, but that's, that's standard nowadays. Uh, there's also five-layer um, topping materials. There are increased weights between different types of three-layer materials. So there's, you can fine-tune it. To, to the automaker's desire. In a lot of cases, we could have two different customers using the same type of material, but by changing the, the, the mass of the product, you get different, different results. And each car is truly different in terms of interior noise, exterior noise, wind buffeting, any of those other factors that contribute to the, to the overall acoustic performance. Yeah. So, uh, Doc, can you mention a couple of the brands that you work uh, with and what uh, models they produce with the material that you provide them? Oh, absolutely. Um, many of the models, I mean, we cover, we're a global company. Uh, in, in, in the U.S., uh, many of the brands that you see here, uh, Volkswagen, the Beetle, the Ford Mustang, You have the Chevrolet, you have either the Camaro or the Corvette. Uh, multiple European uh, brands, whether it's Volkswagen, uh, Audi, Fiat, BMW, Mini, 
Bentley, Rolls Royce, Lamborghini. The the list continues on. Wow, it's a pretty much you you let's say quote unquote cover the whole auto industry. <laughs> We do our best. Yeah. And uh, so, and uh, as you were mentioning, it depends on the specs and the design, I guess, of the particular manufacturer. Because, for example, uh, from a list that you guys provided us, you you make the top for the Bentley Continental GT, which I drove uh, not 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 long ago, and that car is fantastic. And then you also make the Miata. So I guess the material is the same, but it's just like varies in terms of the the design specs from the, each manufacturer. Uh, they are the the materials are. are very similar. There, there are some slightly different weaves and some different weights, but they all share the same general characteristics in, in terms of textiles. Um, it, it can be tailored to price, it can be tailored to color, they can be tailored to construction or weight. There's, there's multiple aspects that can be, can be used to create a product that the designers are looking for, that the engineers are looking for, and that the consumers are looking for. I mean, you have to put all of them in in the big picture and say what's going to work and what works best. Yeah. And uh, in, in your part of the industry, what, what dictates trends? I mean, what people are asking for, or you come up with new ideas in terms of colors or like textures, I guess, or what, or something like that? It's, it's both. Um, we, we have an active design department um, and engineering and We come up with ideas that we promote to the designers at the automakers, and at the same time, they're doing the same thing. They're working on with design and coming up with color and texture and different logos or whatever it happens to be, but we're, we're, we all work towards that same end result. Yeah, and uh, now the tops of uh, some convertibles uh, even combine glass, right? I mean, because the rear glass in the old convertibles was uh, a little plastic that uh, uh, in a few years, more months, sometimes even, it will like deteriorate. And now it's like glass. And maybe, am I correct saying that is there even that have like a sunroof that incorporates into the convertible? Like I think the Mini has something like that. Uh, the, well, that's part. Of, the, the Mini itself does have a, a retractable feature uh, from the header back, which was part of the, the structural design for that particular top mechanism. Uh, but you're correct in that they have incorporated uh, Nissan with the Murano program had incorporated a secondary skylight um, right oh, yeah. the back seat of, for the passenger, and it was a rather unique feature. Uh, and, and they were the first one to come up with that particular type of design. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised in the future if, you know, you see more glass or in different locations. You just have to, uh, you have to understand the design features and, and the limitations that everybody is working with. Yeah, that Murano convertible uh, didn't catch up exactly in terms of uh, sales, but it was a cool car, I think. Uh, you're absolutely right. It was, uh, it was a little bit different for its time, but uh, nonetheless, they, they did sell the car, and, and it's it will be, you know, it'll remain out there. People will see it and know exactly what it is. Exactly. We're talking to Doug Hertz from uh, Hertz Corporation, the company that manufactures materials to make convertibles. So, Doug, is there any webpage where our audience can look for uh, information about your company? Absolutely. www.hartz.com. That's H-A-A-R-T-Z.com. Excellent. Thank you very much. And the next time I'm in a convertible, I'm going to thank you, um, think about you, and like, thank you for, for the work you do for make that possible. Very good. Thank you, Javier. Thank Enjoy you. You too. Bye. Pues ahí tienen la información relacionada al método de fabricación del material que va en las capotas de los convertibles modernos con Doug Hertz, así que ahí lo tienen. No se vayan que cuando regresemos aquí en Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network vamos a, a tratar de responder esa pregunta que muchas veces muchas personas nos hacen. ¿Qué auto me compro? Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mel. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.